Hi everyone, this is Shoshana. I'm doing my June check-in vlog. So I want to open the video of something that happened to me today. I work with kindergartners to fifth graders and today on the bus, one of a bunch of my six-year-olds and some older girls and um, boys were on the bus and one of them, Rem, his name is Remy, he has long hair and a braid. This boy next to him tells him that his gender is a girl. And he's like, no, hair doesn't determine gender. And then all of a sudden, all of these kids next to and in front of them start like chiming in, yeah, my dad has long hair and he's a boy. My mom has short hair and she's a girl. Hair doesn't determine gender. Looks don't determine gender. I was so proud of these kids. I didn't even have to intervene. They made this little boy apologize to Remy and it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, that one, they knew what gender was, and two, they were able to disassociate gender stereotypes from genders, and I think it just shows how far we've come in the last few years. So I am coming along with my readings. I have finished Women's Barracks and Handmaid's Tale, and I still have to finish my last book for English 355. Um, I've been thinking about the essay, and I think I'm going to be doing the feminism essay, and I was trying to think of how to incorporate both books into that, and I don't know if I'll be able to specifically incorporate women's barracks into the feminism essay, but I can definitely try to uh, do Handmaiden's Tale. I think I want to talk about the commander. I think he has this sense about him where he thinks he's a feminist, because in this weird society, he is letting her read, right? He's giving her the equality that has been completely stripped from her. Um, he he gives her promiscuity, which he thinks she wants, but in some sense of the way, he's actually trying to do the right thing. And I thought, my, my theory in my head was working along really nicely until I read the historical note afterwards, in which it turns out he helped organize the entire uh, society. But so that's my that's my first thought. My second thought was incorporating, um, actually, oh, I don't know the name of it. Um, it's right here, though. Uh, the Straight Mind and Other Essays. I was thinking of incorporating um, tidbits here and there um, on how you know lesbianism and intersects with feminism. I just haven't found that clear link in my head yet to, to make it to go with Handmaid's Tale. Um, but I'll be thinking about that on my plane ride tomorrow. Speaking of lesbianism, uh, when I was first reading uh, Monique Wittig and she said, and that we had the quote, lesbians are not women, I had a straight parallel line to women's barracks where Petit and Anne aren't seen by the rest of the women as as women because they're lesbians, but Claude and uh, Mickey are because they're, they still have sex with men. But there's even a specific part in page uh, 112, where the narrator, she she says, Petit and Anne are men. Um, their love stop, their love making must be like men. Um, and obviously, as I kept re reading Monique Wittig's uh, piece, you know, that clearly wasn't what she meant. Um, but I thought it was interesting how you knew how these French women, we they did completely disassociate um, Women from femi women from lesbians, whether it was for you know to fight the patriarchy and heterosexuality or to comply with it, um, either way, you know you there was I mean there was obviously a divide between lesbians and everyone else, but this really showed that they weren't even they weren't even one of the women. Uh, one line that really that really confused me. We're supposed to talk about something we've struggled with was on page two of um, the. To, uh, the, uh, name? of the straight mind and other essays. It's, for there is no sex. There is but sex that is oppressed and sex that oppresses. So I'm a little confused because there is no sex, but then there is the sex that oppresses and stuff. So isn't there sex? And normally if I struggle with something, I try to come up with some plausible conclusion see no plausible conclusion for this and um you know she says the the contrary would be to say that sex creates oppression or is it the cause of oppression is to be found in sex itself so i'm still really lost in that that did not help at all um so that's definitely something i was struggling with um and 
I have no other, nothing else to say about that. Last thing I wanted to talk about was this link between the straight minds um, and those experts, um, trans misogyny, and the video, um, which we should all be feminists. Um, which you really see, you know, I mean, it's the theme of all feminism is that men are the patriarchy. Um, but you specifically see, you know, in trans misogyny, she says, she talks about how it is worse to be a trans woman because that is to um, assume that when women are, when they transition to being into women, they're doing it for sexual reasons um, and for sexual power. But, you know, as, um, still can't pronounce her name, um, Ch Chimananda Gozi Adichie said, you know, sexual power is not real power because all you do is giving them the choice and that's not that's not actual power. But either way, I think that relates, you know, to the fact that heterosexuality is innately in the patriarchy because men are power. And the reason I, I find that um, patriarchy and heterosexuality are so linked is that, you know, because you need to have masculinity and power and gay couple and male gay couples, you know, stereotypically they're not masculine. And in lesbianism, even if you're butch, you don't have a penis, so you're still not masculine. So that's how I sort of justified that. Um, and I think they all come together. I'm definitely struggling with some of these articles, especially um, Monique Wittig, um, just because, you know, in modern society, we're taught that feminism is about standing up together and all about female togetherness to empower. And that's not what this article is talking about. Um, but at the same time, I totally, even if my justification isn't the reason, isn't in, isn't in Wittig's understanding, I can completely see how heterosexuality is part of the patriarchy. Anyway, I hope that all made sense. Um, I look forward to seeing you all in a couple weeks. And have a great weekend.